Police Chief Chris Skinner was in our studio today talking about the city's community safety initiative and the current needs of the police department. Thank you for joining us. I'm China Green. New tonight at 11, KEZI 9 News reporter Tyler Jones is live in the studio to show us what Skinner and community members are saying about that initiative. Tyler. Well, China Chief Skinner, Chief Skinner says that the department has come a long way over the last year, adding 13 new officers to the force. However, he says they're still struggling to meet the needs of the community, and community members say they appreciate his honesty. Skinner says that the $8.5 million bridge funding from the city has helped the police department become fully staffed. However, he says they're struggling to respond to calls in a timely manner, and he understands how frustrating that is to the community. Skinner says he's hoping to add another 40 to 50 officers to the 202 they already have. It's not unusual for officers to show up and have 30 calls holding when they get there and have 30 calls holding when they get when they get off duty for the next shift to come on. You can't do a lot of community policing activities when you don't have discretionary time to actually go out into the neighborhoods and do those things. So just a few hours after that interview, Chief Skinner met with members of the Cal Young neighborhood. He echoed a lot of the same statistics about the department's struggles, but residents say they're just glad for the honesty. I really appreciate the acknowledge the capacity problems with the police department and um, that, you know, they're, they do their best to prioritize the calls and, and respond to people's concerns. The Eugene City Council is considering several ways to fund the nearly $23 million a year needed to fund their community safety initiative in the long term, including a possible payroll tax. Their next discussion about that funding will be on May 8th during their public work session at noon. Live in the studio, Tyler Jones, KEZI 9 News.